Hey, what's going on? Making this video about what is a lease option agreement and why is it important? My name is Bobby Terry. Thank you for coming to my channel. But I made this one because, you know, we get a lot of clients that have said, hey, my landlord sold a house and, you know, they had a verbal agreement and uh, then the landlord went and sold the house to somebody else. So that's why a lease option agreement will help you in a situation like that uh, in many ways. But then you won't, you know, experience involved when you're doing a lease option agreement because it could be a lot of terms in there that you might not understand or the proper way to make sure that you really have equitable title. And equitable title is that you have a signed uh, agreement um, on a property at a certain price and then you want the terms in there and there is a lot of terms in there that you want to make sure that uh whoever is representing you is making sure it's in your favor like you know is it assignable you might want to sell the option or something like that too uh or you might want to rent it out you know uh like can you sublease it's a lot of different vocabulary that you got to have somebody with experience working with you you know i make these videos when i'm driving so if i'm not talking to you but if, even if I'm not looking at you directly but uh, yeah so the lease option agreement is important because then you got the the, uh, the price the price of the property and a lot of people will say well the market too high right now but I would still get a lease a, a lease option agreement because it would give me today's price if the landlord say he wants what, what the house is worth you know in the market at this time but as you can see that the market really blew up and a lot of the people uh, that are renting single family homes uh, from landlords that do not have the lease option agreement, the landlord actually sold the house and then they got short notice that, you know, they had to move because the new uh, buyer didn't want to honor um, the rental agreement or whatever that they have because it's a new owner. So that's why the lease option agreement is important but then also you want to um, get like a memorandum or something, a statement and get it notarized so that, you know, you got a legal document of the agreement. Uh, and in some counties you can file that um, that paper with the county, the, the, with, the, with the register of deeds so that you cloud the title so that if the owner changes his mind, you can still uh, stop from selling that property. You know, some of them are confused, not knowing what you're uh, trying to do, but it's part of the thing. So you gotta make sure that you present it properly and you got the right document, got it notarized to make it a legal document and that you have all of the legal description and everything so that it attaches to the right property. It's just not agreeing with you. Again, that's why you get professionals on your team to help you we're going through the pro process with getting a good uh, lease option agreement. Now, if you're just renting right now, I would probably call your landlord and say, hey, uh, I might want to buy this house. How much would you sell it to me for? And then he gives you a price and be like, oh, okay, well, now you want to set the term. You know, like how long do you need before you think you actually get a mortgage? You want to write all of this stuff out because then that's when you got a good agreement and everybody on the same page. So he might say, hey, well, two years. Okay, so now you got the two years, you're writing this stuff out. And then what you do is pay an option fee because you have to give something of value when you uh, write in your contracts or whoever write you. In a lot of cases, it's called earnest money or, but in this case, it'll be a lease option agreement fee. Um, and then you get your separate uh, statement of what y'all agreeing to. Um, you can find a lot of these documents online but I still would get somebody with experience to handle the lease option agreement for you. Um, and then you get it notarized because you write the stuff in there with the property, the legal description and get it notarized and then you file it with the register of deeds so that it can attach to that property. So say if you have a lease option agreement for 200,000 and now you have this uh, memorandum um, that you got notarized and they sell it for 250, but that filing it clouded the title. So anything over that two, uh, 
I would say that you should be entitled to it because you have an agreement for the, the the 200. So I would assume that anything over that, but check with, I'm not an attorney, so check with your attorney, you know, to make sure that, you know, when you file it and let, you know, and everything that all of that is in there to your favor, but you want to be able to cloud the title so that a landlord can't just sell the house and then now you forced with a short time to move um, so that's why I made this video because we get the call. So I, I'm constantly making videos to, you know, help, uh, you know, somebody else that's going through the same thing. Or if we, we get another client that comes through going through the same situation, I pretty much made this video for you so that they can answer the questions of, uh, or help you avoid even going through the situation. So again, thanks for coming to my channel. Subscribe. And I'm gonna give more and more information based upon the questions I get through the phone call. So I hope this helps somebody to understand, you know, and even if you're in your house uh, and you don't have that lease option agreement, but you have a rental agreement and your landlord said, hey, I'm gonna sell it to you. Uh, I, I don't recommend being comfortable with just a verbal agreement uh, because um, paperwork, emails and everything helps get everybody back on the same page of what was discussed and agreed to. So that's why it's good to, in, in, in business, is to write out a lot of what your intentions are. And so if the other side don't agree, they can counter it right there or strike out some things they don't agree to that's actually in the contract. So I hope this helps you understand what is and, 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 and how important uh, actual lease option agreement is. So stay tuned and um, I'll make another one when, when another question come up. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments so that I can make a video to address, uh, you know, whatever questions you have about, you know, rent to own or lease option purchase or lease option agreements. Okay. So have a good day. All right.